What's up, Core Reporters, and welcome back to my channel. When it rains, it pours, especially if your name is Janelle Evans, the disgraced former Teen Mom 2 star. So as we know, right now, uh, there is a CPS investigation underway when it comes to her son, Jace Evans. He lost custody of him, again, to CPS. He's currently living with Barbara Evans, who is his real mother. Um, and Janelle decided to launch a full-blown propaganda campaign against her son in order to defend and David Eason, who has been accused of abusing him. And um, now come to find out the man that she is fighting for, that she has always been willing to put above her kids and herself is trying to get away from her. Uh, the son managed to get their hands on some text messages that he exchanged with the mother of his daughter, Marissa. And in these text messages, David is telling her that he regrets losing her. She was perfect. His life is not at all where he wants it to be. And it is crazy. So let's take a look. Um, so now in the most recent leaks, what you're seeing in the background of this text message image is the photos that he, the photo that he sent to her about how messy their marital bedroom was because apparently Janelle left all of her clothing on the floor. You even see some pants hung up on the door and everything, like it's a mess. And he's saying, hey, do you have a minute to talk? Sorry, I'm on the phone, can I call you back? And she says, yeah, sure, by the name, her, her name is Whit. By the way, her name is Whitney. And then David comes back, sorry, I forgot to tell you happy birthday. And then Whitney responds with, thank you, you good, give me a call when you get a chance, please. And so he sends the picture. Um, now this, I can never win. She's mad because I have two loads worth of laundry and she has the entire room covered with her clothes. So there you go. He's saying that every single piece of clothing item that you see in this photograph belongs to Janelle Evans. David, how dare you? She was ready to give up those kids for you. And here you are running around behind her back, you monster. <laughs> um, now, in the next set of text messages, you can see him continue to trash Janelle to this woman. He says, literally, this is all her sh Not one article of this clothing is mine, but I'm a POS for cleaning up my own mess. So I guess Janelle wanted him to clean up both. Um, sorry, I just need someone to vent to. I have no friends. Well, not surprising, David, except JD, and he runs his mouth when he gets drunk, as if cleaning my own mess is worse than cheating, LMAO. So I guess he's claiming that um, Janelle cheated on him at a certain point. Is that what I'm getting here? Does he consider that little separation they had when she got with that guy, what was it, Herbie or whatever, cheating? Or is he saying, at least I'm not cheating? Let me know what you think. And then Whitney responds with, LOL, I know, right? Nah, you good. I understand. That's crazy, though, about her not letting you use the car to pick Marissa up. Do you need me to pick her up because of that? And so David responds with, yeah, maybe so. She said to be there at 430 or 5. And so Whitney started, you know, kind of talking about making plans in order to go and get Marissa picked up. Now we're going to get into the text messages where David talks about um, how he wants to be together with this woman. And mind you, his ex is married. And I know you're wondering, where is her husband? Why is, you know, uh, why, why, why is she entertaining this sort of conversation? Well, according to the son and her husband, who also released the a statement, he was there the whole whole time. And he was actually the one encouraging her to keep on talking to David in order to see if he would, um, you know, how far he would take it. Because at first it kind of just started it off with some pretty innocuous things. But then later it started slipping into, I want to be back together with you. And obviously David knows that she's married and whatnot. Right. So here's what he said to her. You were perfect. You just deserve so much better. Um, where is it? Where did it go? I'm sorry, you guys. I do not know why it just jumped on me. Ah, you were perfect. You just, Lord. Okay. From the very top, what he's saying is, I let you and Marissa down, and I should have done more to keep you. Now I, Lord, please stop freaking me out. Because I thought this you were perfect thing was like the first thing he said, but no, it comes later on in the conversation. So I want to start from the beginning. Sorry, guys. I let you and Marissa down and I should have done more to keep you. Now I'm about to lose my family and my baby girl again for something I didn't even do. I don't understand why life is so cruel. Not David who shoots French bulldogs. Um, and the family pets, chicks and stuff, and just does all sorts of crazy things to animals and allegedly children and women wondering why life is so cruel. Like, uh, honestly, I could throw up uh, from the cognitive dissonance there. 
sorry for venting to you. And so she, Whitney responds with, you can't think about all that. You just have to focus on now. And I wasn't perfect either. Nobody is. It takes two, but you're fine. I get it. Sometimes it helps to vent. And David responds again, you were perfect. You just deserve so much better than everything you've been through. That's why it makes me so sad. All right, sure. Um, I think about you so much and I dream about you all the time. I don't know how I ended up here instead of where I wanted to be. So you need to tell me as he is drifting off to sleep, dreaming about hell and whatnot, he is thinking about this woman as he sleeps in Janelle's pile of garbage. This is this is this is the ambiance. Oh my god, like he really wants this girl back. Wow, it is crazy. I can't imagine my husband telling his ex, aka the mother of his for of his child, of his daughter, that he dreams about her. That is wild. Um, I don't know how we ended up here instead of where I wanted us to be. Child, please don't take that the wrong way. I'm just so upset right now and I wish I could turn back the clock. And so she responded with, I'm not, I know what you mean. Believe me, I damn sure turn the clock back. If I could feel like this life is so effed up, we should all be given one undo or rewind button. And you got to think about the fact that we've never really talked about anything since I left. To me, I'm like, okay, like I know you're claiming that your husband and he's claiming that he was in on this, but the responses you're sending here are a little, a little sus, a little borderline, um, but I digress. Anyway, David really, um, these aren't recent, by the way. I think these happened months ago, but um, still, you guys, the fact that he was even sending these messages behind Janelle's back, how embarrassing for him, how embarrassing for Janelle as well. Like, this is crazy. You know, here she is ready. Again, she's saying F them kids. You know, police, come arrest my 14-year-old child for assaulting and abusing my my six foot three unemployed husband. She's literally saying that for you. And the last time CPS came knocking to take away those kids, what happened? Janelle said, uh, they told Janelle, you could stay with the kids in the house. David just has to leave, you know? Otherwise, if you don't choose to do that, we will separate everybody, all those kids. And Janelle said, you know what? No, David over everything. Those kids can go. They can leave. You're done. You're done. So she does all this for this man, embarrasses herself, exposes herself as a trash ass mother who would choose any man over her children. And this is what her man is doing behind her back with the phone plan that she is paying for because this man refuses to work on the internet that she is paying for, in the house that she is paying for, alone, because this man refuses to work. I wish the F, I had a sugar baby man living off of me, talking crap about me, telling his ex that he wants to get back together with her, showing her pictures of the clothes I paid for, um, you know, in my bedroom, a mess. And he's like, oh, I, I picked up my clothes. The clothes that you bought with my money. Oh my God, I would be sick, crying, throwing up, snot running down my nose. This is so freaking embarrassing. Again, like I said at the top of the video, when it rains, it freaking pours. This is not a good look at all. Oh, to be a fly on that wall. And y'all know there were, there are many flies on, <laughs> on the swamp walls. Um, to be on a fly on the wall and just see the, the the drama going on between the two of them now that more text messages have been leaked, exposing just how much resentment David has built up against Janelle. Him saying that this is not the life he wants to live. I should have done X, Y, Z. But here's my thing, David. What were you going to do for this woman and your daughter with no damn job? I'm just curious. Like, what were you going to bring to the table for her? Like, to me, like a, a guy who refuses to work, talk about, oh, I've had a plan for us. What? Homelessness? Poverty? Me working to make sure, like, you know, the family's okay while you do nothing? I don't understand. You know, what were you going to do for them? I really, really need, like, I want to know quickly. What, what was he going to do for them? The man refuses to work. Like, it's insanity to me. Like, you really think that I want, you know, a no good, violent towards animals, dog killing man living off my coin? Absolutely freaking not. David, nobody wants you but Janelle. And, you know, Janelle only wants you because she can't stand to be by herself and she can't stand to be with those with her kids either, you know. And so that's not a compliment. And it is just oof, so damn sad. Anyway, guys, I'm running late. I have to run. I have to I'm having dinner with some friends before we go to the theater. 
we're going to watch that Taylor Swift concert thing. Oh, shake it off. Please don't be in the... Yes. Um, so I got to run. I'm super late. Um, sorry, I can't do uh, any more of this video. Sorry, guys. I just wanted to get this out to you guys as soon as possible. But I will be seeing you guys in my next videos, okay, tomorrow. Bye, guys. Have a good night, evening, day, afternoon, wherever you are. See ya.